Well, early this Sunday, we saw pretty much temperatures drop down to the 20 degree mark, and we're store to see that happen possibly for some low lying areas tonight. Our weather headlines for this week is as follows slight warm up this week. We'll just be climbing that ladder, Tuesday being slightly the warmest day here across the Contra Valley for most of us. And then we'll be turning cooler as another cold front comes through Wednesday. Possible rain behind that front with some colder weather moving into the forecast. I'll look at that and tell you what we can expect. But cold morning lows definitely going to need that hot coffee and cocoa as I give you that forecast for us as we go into the rest of the headlines. But right now it's 39 degrees. It feels like 39. Humidity at 23%. Seeing a southwest wind, 3 miles per hour. Those winds will actually be starting to pick up as we go into the next couple of days. And it's pretty much a cold night across the Contra Valley. Seeing some 40s here on the map here. 32 in Sonora for 45 and Robert Lee. 35 in Sterling City. All of us sitting in a cool weather night with that dry atmosphere setting up. And it's not a lot of moisture over Texas, pretty dry, clear conditions, and there goes that strong upper level low, bringing in some showers and snow storms into portions of the northeast. Again, well of our region, we'll love to see some snow, but it's just not going to come in our forecast, and it's pretty strong, as you can see, the tight pressure gradient here with that low pressure system. This is a strong system, brought some snow showers for portions of the southeast, and even for some spots back home in Louisiana. Here, though, we'll see winds pick up as we go into Tuesday, almost gusting before our next cold front comes through as we time this out, and it's going to bring us some showers possibly behind it as temperatures drop as well. So going into Monday, we'll see some teen wind speeds. This is when we get into Tuesday with that tight pressure gradient, seeing those winds gust. Some gusts might get up to around 30 miles per hour. Another windy day that could bring in some fire, critical fire areas for, uh, worse for us as well. Coming into Tuesday, Wednesday, we still see a gusting as that cold front get that tighter gradient as well. Before we start to see a little slack in wind speeds and probably another more increase as the low pressure system starts to develop, but well off from our region right now. We'll continue to monitor. What is prominent, though, is the return of moisture to the Contra Valley, right? Looking dry throughout much of the week, but as we go into Friday, into Saturday, things start to get a little more moisture in upper levels as we go into that. That can bring us a chance of seeing some showers. Again, well needed here after just seeing pretty much some dry conditions. Again, I'm going with low risk right now. We're still currently watching the next couple of systems with some disagreement in the models. But Tuesday definitely will be a windy day. Again, bringing in those fire critical risks for much of the Contra Valley. Wednesday, that cold front comes through, dropping some of us into highs for Thursday in the 30s and 40s again. Cooler again for Friday in the 40s as well, warming up into the 50s. And then as we go into Saturday, watching that another low pressure system that develops out to the southwest, then we can see some influence as well. Again, well to off to really determine how much rain we'll see, but definitely keeping rain in the forecast. Now, the morning lows are definitely what's prominent. We're going to be pretty well below average as we get past that cold front passage in the 20s toward Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. In the 40s for Mondays and Tuesdays, some of us, again, in those low-lying areas, a little more cooler. Just like tonight, I mean, dropping around into the 20s suspected tonight. Really cool weather overall for much of us here in the Contra Valley. And with that, you're going to need your coffee as you go into tonight. Max warming needed going into tomorrow and into tomorrow morning. So definitely want to make sure when you're putting the kids on the bus to have that coffee and make sure they're bundled up for the next seven days. Now, Monday will warm up, Tuesday being the warmest day into the next seven days. Seeing some sunshine and holding on to them rain chances. But we'll watch for our next upcoming system to see if we get any more moisture and some more rain chances possible. Maybe some mixing. Still too early to tell, but we'll keep you informed here at KSN News.